dear viewers i hope you are all fine this ultrasound video shows in fact two videos shows fibroid uterus this is the first video and you can see the uterus and a large fibroid along the posterior wall of the uterus this is uterus and this one is the fibroid this is the unibladder now it looks to be pedunculated fibroid large fibroid and it is round to oval in shape is semi solid to solid in consistency as slightly androgenous ecogenicity this is the right ovary and this one is the left ovary now you can see the blood flow and slightly increased blood flow is seen inside the mass now you are going to see the other video showing another case now you are going to see the other case in which the fibroid lies along the interior wall this is your bladder this is uterus and this is cervix and you can see the fibroid is not visible now it is visible along the posterior wall of the middle portion of the uterus and these fibroids lying along the interior wall are easy to miss but by the art of probe handling you can avoid it the fibroids are abnormal growths that develop in or on the uterus the tumors may become quite large and cause severe abdominal pain and heavy periods and in some cases the cause they may cause no sign or symptoms at all these are typically benign and non cancerous and the exact cause of fibroid is unknown and they are known by the following names leo myomas myomas uterine myomas and fibromas and according to some researchers about 80% of the women may have them by the age of 50 however most women do not have any symptom and may never know that they have fibroid at all and according to the place and their presence and location in the uterus uh, they are called intramural fibroids subserosal fibroid pedunculated fibroids and subserosal fibroids the exact etiology of these fibroids is unknown however the hormones uh, may trigger these hormones uh, may trigger to form these or uh, fibroids uh, there may be a family history and in pregnancy the fibroid may develop in large sizes if it is present already it may gain the size
now you can see this vibrate along the interior wall intermural fibroids are most common type of fibroids and these types appear within the muscular wall of the uterus and they may grow large larger and can stretch the uterus to one side subserosal fibroids these fibroids are formed on the outer outside of the uterus and that is the serosa they may develop large enough to make uterus appear bigger on one side pedunculated fibroids uh, may develop a stem a cylinder base that supports the tumor these are known as pedunculated fibroids and the last one is the submucosal submucosal fibroids these type of fibroids develop in middle muscular layer or myometrium of the uterus and these are uh, uncommon as compared to the other types of the fibroids and this is the right ovary this is and this is the other ovary this is the mass your fibroid and this is uterus thanks for watching please subscribe my channel and if you do like this video please click the like button thanks